Hello everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Medium J. Lane and this is Message from Spirit. Now I am really excited about Message from Spirit today because I've decided to bring it over to my Medium J website and integrate it with the Infinity Fan Club. And the Infinity Fan Club is going to be an amazing place where you can come and hang out with Jay and you know of course get your message from Spirit. Now I want to let you know that the Infinity Fan Club is going to be absolutely free and Message from Spirit is going to continue to be from my heart to yours. So thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for your participation. It's been absolutely overwhelming and beautiful. Now we've received over 1400 messages for Spirit and for requests for messages from Spirit I should say and I have you know gone through the list and the way this basically works is that I tell you it's message from Spirit time and all you have to do is put a comment underneath mine and tell me that you want to receive a message. Now if you don't participate you won't receive a message but also there are so many comments and because there are so many I encourage you to continue to participate week after week for these messages because you never know when you'll receive one and if you've already received one don't feel selfish if you need another one keep on participating you know it doesn't really matter spirit really speaks through so many people at times so sometimes I may be giving a message for someone else and you can relate to that message and of course feel something from that and then you could have received another message from spirit indirectly so without further ado I want to thank you so much first of all for participating but I have many many messages to give and I'm going to get started right now. Now the first message I have here is for Deb Chartra. And Deb, you know, I'm gonna tell you that your dad was not upset with you at the time he passed. Your dad makes me feel that he's very, very happy and that he needed for you to take care of your mom, even if you had a little snooze or that you, you, know, you weren't really in tune with what was going on. I think that you were so exhausted from the emotional trauma that you've gone through that your father understands exactly what you went through. So your father is really, really a happy, happy soul. I have to tell you that you know he says that you've done a really good job and he's really happy that you supported your mother so much you know with the difficulty that she's had in letting go of his passing and so don't feel so bad Deb your dad says hi he's always around you I don't know if you're the one that hums all the time but he makes me feel he comes around a female that hums but I want you to keep on smiling because your dad makes you feel that you're getting some good news very shortly and I don't know if there's something to do with mid to end February but I also get the sense that you're getting some good news around that time and so I want to thank you so much for participating for message from spirit and I hope that you continue to do that but I just also want to tell you that your dad does a little wink to you okay thank you Deb now the next message I have here is for a lady by the name of Tracy Richardson and Tracy your brother is so around you he draws a great big heart right away so I don't know if he meant that he passed of a heart condition or if there's something to do with the number 220 or 22 or if he simply means like around Valentine's Day or a reference to February but he's a very happy and expressive soul and when I read your comment I could just feel him all over the place as if that's me that's me that's me so I felt so good to tell you that um, he was really really happy to see his mom oh my god I'm so happy to see mom and so he just gave you the sense that he gravitates towards that so your mother or a female figure or a nurturing mother figure to him would have passed maybe five eight years before but not more than that he also makes me feel that the number 14 or the number 24 very important and so I don't know if it has to do with a month and and a day or if it has to do with just the number 14 or 24 of any month but I'm going to dissect that a little bit for you Tracy um, the 14th could be either the first month fourth day or the 10th month fourth day so January 4th or October 4th or April 1st or April 10th or February 4th or April 2nd or April 20th um, there's also two others that would be with this male around you that make me feel they pass quickly. There's also two that make me feel they pass, you know, back to back or very quickly, you know, maybe within a year of each other, always together and very happy. And, you know, painless or quick passings or, or people that really wanted to die quickly. And I hate to say it like that, but, you know, Tracy, there's no other way of saying it really. I just think these souls needed to go and they were happy, happy to leave. But you know what? There's no regrets really. And there's just a lot of love that comes through. 
Thank you so much for responding today. And I want to tell you that they're very, very happy. So your brother's happy. Um, you know, there's there's a mom, I think, figure there. And there's someone else. And I don't know who that person is, but they do make me feel another quick passing. So yay. So thank you so much for participating. And I hope that you continue to do that. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, Tracy, someone also gives me the sense that there's something to do with itchy ears around you. So just watch around either milk allergies or allergies of some kind. And I know it's winter time but unless there's eczema or something wrong with the ears just to watch around you or for yourself okay just take care of yourself there's a lot of love that comes through thank you so much for participating now the next person I have here on the list is Debbie Laframboise and Debbie your dad is always around you my goodness and he's so happy to see his mom and dad there was someone else there I couldn't quite identify but someone very close to him that maybe wasn't blood related but I felt kind of happy that he was happy to see them he said that he also had his favorite uncle there or his favorite cousin but the guy seems a little bit younger so I don't know if the uncle or the cousin would have passed away a long long time ago but he makes me feel really really happy about that now the biggest thing that I got from him was the fact that he missed his girls or that there was a heavier female reference to him talking about missing people or wanting to be around them and he acknowledged K sounds and names Karen Carol Carmen Christy Crystal even like you know Karen with a K but there's something to do with that or it could be even a C name and he also talked about either October or the 10th being important and he made me feel that there was changes in red residence around the 10th or around October and so I don't exactly know what that means unless he meant in 10 months from now but I, I didn't quite understand that but I have to tell you also talks about and he shows me I think it's March 16th and I don't know why he shows me that, but I kept on seeing the sign of Pisces with 16, and I think that's what he was telling me. So maybe just watch around that date. I hadn't looked on the calendar to see what that falls on, but it just makes me feel there's something important around you or your family around those dates. Debbie, I want to thank you so much for participating for Message to Spirit. There's a big hug that comes from meeting you on this one because he just makes me feel he wants to hold you really close. And there's also, you know, that feeling of... Um, how do I say it? He doesn't have any regrets, but I think that um, I think someone had some regrets around his passing, but he doesn't really make me feel that there has to be anything like that. And he's a really happy spirit. So thank you so much for participating. Now I have Fernand La, La, La Belge. So Fernand La Belge, your niece is always peeking in on you but the thing is i don't get her as much as i would get you get and i get the sense that you get is really starting to party or she's really starting to celebrate her life on the other side or her freedom i believe that she had a lot of um, trouble accepting her illness and trouble accepting the fact that she had a shorter period of time to live and i think that she would have really really suffered in her last maybe week of passing but she makes me feel that she's celebrating that being behind her now she is so happy because she has about 15 people on the other side that she hadn't seen in a very long time and I believe that there's someone that's just recently passed or someone that's very sick and she makes me feel that she's coming around that situation coming to peek in I don't know if there's a Fred or an Alfred or um, Ted or a Ned or a Fred that kind of thing but there's someone also talking about that name or acknowledging that name around you and so I don't know if that's on your side of the family or on a husband's side of the family but they make me feel to say a great big hello to you as well thank you so much Fernand for you know reaching out and for asking I totally you know relate to this one for you but you gets having a heck of a good time so I have to tell you that she's just dancing and just she's having fun she doesn't have any more pain hence she's so happy and so free and so make sure to tell the family that she wants everyone to know that okay and there's someone that's having a great big get together soon too and I think like some kind of food related thing oh and tell her son everything's gonna be okay he doesn't have to feel bad she comes around him all the time because he talks to her constantly Thank you so much, and I hope you get that out to him. Now, the next person, I'm going to have to spell the last name because, honestly, I don't think that I can pronounce this, but the first name is Ellie, E-L-L-Y, and then I think it's Ast Astgen. 
So A-S-T-G-E-N, and I'm apologizing to you if I'm not saying that properly, but definitely a message from Spirit for you, Allie, Ellie, because the minute I started to read your post, it's like, oh my goodness. Now I have to tell you that there's a male that comes around you that made me feel like he had a little bit of rough in his hands. When they have rough hands like that, they either worked outside or they worked hard or they worked you know, physically somehow, but this one here makes me feel that he did work that way. He was very, very happy in the things that he did in his lifetime. He says that mom's depressed or there's something to do with your mother being depressed or down and that she has been like that for a while. So I don't know how long that's been, but she needs to understand that they are really, really, really okay on the other side. He does make me feel that there was something to do with passing quickly or an ambulance had to be called or there's something to do with emergency lights around him, but he honestly doesn't remember much more than that. Or Maybe he was taken to the hospital or emergency department, but I kind of feel blurry about that. So I almost get the feeling that he would have passed away very quickly, this male, but he's also very, very thankful that he did because I don't think this is someone that would have wanted to be sick or someone that would have been able to handle, you know, having people feel sorry over him while he was going through this medical trauma. So he just makes me feel that he's okay. He talks about April or the 4th being important and he's smiles when I say that and so thank you so much Ellie for participating in message from spirit and continue to do that it's so great to feel this energy around you it was amazing keep on talking to this male very very happy sends you great big hugs there's also a female with this male makes me feel passed around 11 or 12 years before and so I don't very get very much from that, but I would think accidental or suddenly as well. Okay. Thank you so much, Ellie. I really appreciate it. <sighs> now, I didn't know who this was for because they didn't identify themselves in the post other than, um, I don't know if it's a Mike or a Rita, but I have Rita Bluen or Mike Perot. So I don't know if it was Rita or Mike writing. So I'm going to address Rita and Mike. So Rita and Mike, thank you so much, first of all, for writing. I felt that the mom is definitely around you. Very, very, very happy mom. Okay, so happy to be with the others. Oh my goodness. So I get the sense that she had a very, very um, difficult time missing people herself when she was here on this side. So if I'm talking about mom, I would think that while she was alive, there were two people that she really had trouble accepting in their passing and one that she talked to quite a bit. So she makes me feel that she's with those two people like all the time she says that the medication helped her quite a bit and I feel good about that and some people more difficult to pass away but I would get the sense that that medication helped her to calm so that she could accept her demise but I would tell you I felt it was her time to go and I feel that she would have had a good life I don't know if she had circulation problems but she does make me feel that she suffered a little bit before she passed but the thing is, she was kind of happy and relieved when she did. If someone held you back or if there's something to do with like not having someone around you at the time that she passed or maybe your husband wasn't with you or your wife wasn't with you, Mike, I'm not sure who this is for. Um, they just make me feel that there's something to do with not worrying about that either because they're really, really happy to have gone through the other side. And spirits, when they pass over, I have to tell you that they don't have the same human feeling as as you know, we do here. And so we miss people when they pass away and we cry, we have these emotions. But spirits are not human anymore because we leave the body here and that energy that's contained within us moves on and it continues to move on. But that energy never has regrets, no remorse, it's never sad, it's never upset, it, it doesn't hold grudges, it's, it's not human anymore. So it only has beautiful intentions, only loves unconditionally. So if there's anything to worry about that, um, you know, Mike or Rita, please don't because they do make me feel that they're quite happy where they're at. And they want to let you know that they hear you talk to them or they hear you know the things that you do for them so they're very very happy to come around oh and there's something to do with the number 22 and also something to do with me or the fifth that they acknowledge I don't know what that is but they're happy about it so whatever that means to you I hope that you understand it thank you so much today for participating in this message for spirit now my last person here today maybe my last person is Sabrina 
Drigo. And Sabrina, I have someone so around you, so happy that tells me that they either passed on the 11th or November. And I don't know if it would be between the 12th and the 17th or mid-November, but they make me feel very important about that. Um, they want to say hi, very happy, go lucky, or very, very happy spirit. Um, you know, no more pain. That was a big thing. So I don't know if this person was, you know, had difficulties passing or had a lot of pain before they passed, but they make me feel there's no more of that. And they want to say hi to another S. So I don't know, um, Sabrina, you know, if, if you have another S connection to you in terms of a mother, a brother, a sister, that kind of thing, but they, they bring that through and they make me feel a great big hello. This person makes me feel that there's a dog with them to the other side, but I wouldn't think it's their dog. They make me feel it's a dog that belonged to the family somewhere. So it could be your dog or a brother or sister's dog, but they make me feel very happy to bring this pet through as well. I don't know if there's a school teacher or a reference to a school teacher or someone that worked in schools also, but they keep on showing me schools and they make me feel important to acknowledge that. Unless someone around you starting school or decides to go back to school, I don't quite understand it. They also talk about a nosebleed or some dry air or maybe Arizona because sometimes nosebleed mean Arizona for me because it's very dry there but they just make me feel there's something to do with that and I don't quite know if someone's going to Arizona or someone's having trouble with sinuses or nosebleeds or if it's just really really dry in your environment just watch around that because they make me feel that's a little bit of a concern. They also make me feel that there's someone that has to go for either like a chest x-ray or there's something to do with lungs or heart. Um, they don't make me feel that bad about it though or they don't make me feel that escalated about it but they do make me feel that that person needs to continue to go for their checkup so they need to continue you know getting checked. Sabrina I want to thank you so much for participating for Message from Spirit. You are so loved from above. I have to tell you that. I want to thank you all so much for participating for Message from Spirit and I want to let you know that I am available for readings and I am available for telephone readings which are booked online very automated system and I'm available also for Skypes which are intended for two to four or one to four people and of course in-person sessions but those are very limited because I'm going to be starting my tour in March and make sure that you order your reading before I go away because I'm not going to be as available as you'd like me to be available. But I want to thank you so much and look forward for another message from Spirit next week from me. I love you and have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.